Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to walk you through what you need to do if you've either forgotten your passcode or you entered in the wrong passcode too many times and your iPhone has become disabled. To remedy this situation, what we're going to need to do is erase your iPhone, which deletes your data and settings, including the passcode. Now, this isn't that big of a deal. If you've backed up your iPhone to the iCloud, you can restore your data and settings after restoring your iPhone. Now, if you've never backed up your device before this point in time, you won't be able to save the data that's on your iPhone. So you're going to start from a fresh state, which is still a better option than not being able to use your phone. So there's three different ways to do this depending on what type of iPhone you have. I'm going to go through all these three different ways that you go about restoring your phone and removing the passcode. And then after that point in time, I'll walk you through how to restore your data and settings. So first up here to remove the passcode on an iPhone X or later, an iPhone SE second generation, an iPhone 8, and an iPhone 8 Plus, make sure that your iPhone isn't connected to your computer. At that point in time, what we're going to do is press and hold the side button, so this button right here, as well as one of the volume buttons, so one of the two volume buttons on the side, until the power off slider appears. Now at that point in time, you're gonna drag the slider to turn off your iPhone. Now at this point, you're going to connect your iPhone to your computer using a USB cable, for instance, and while you're connecting your iPhone to your computer, you're gonna be holding down the side button, again, this button right over here, and keep holding the side button until you see the recovery mode screen. Now, step three is going to be if you backed up your iPhone after you remove the passcode, then we can restore the data and settings. And again, I'll touch on how to do that after going through these next two examples. To remove the passcode on an iPhone 7 and an iPhone 7 Plus, again, make sure that your iPhone isn't connected to your computer. Press and hold the side button until the power off slider appears. So holding the side button until that power off slider appears, drag the slider to turn off your iPhone, then connect your iPhone to your computer. And this time it's going to be while holding the volume down button, which is over here. Keep holding the volume down button until you see the recovery mode screen. And then the last way to do this is going to be removing the passcode on an iPhone SE first generation and an iPhone 6S and earlier. Step one is going to be the same. Make sure that your iPhone isn't connected to your computer. Then press and hold the side or top button. So whether that button is over here or right here on the top until the power off slider appears, drag the slider to turn off your iPhone. Then connect your iPhone to your computer with a USB cable, for instance, while holding the home button. And the home button is going to be a physical button located down in this area on your iPhone. Keep holding the home button until you see the recovery mode screen. So those are the three different ways that you go about removing that passcode. Now we're going to go down to the restore your phone option. So with your phone plugged into your computer, you're going to want to locate your iPhone on your computer. To locate and view your connected iPhone on your computer, we're going to be doing this either through the Finder or through iTunes. Now to do this on the Finder, your device appears in the sidebar of the Finder, and that's going to look something like this, where your devices are going to show up over here on the side of the Finder. Now if we're doing this in iTunes, you want to make sure that you have the latest version of iTunes, and then it will show up in the upper left corner of the iTunes window. That'll look something like this. You can select that little icon and your phone should be in that area. At that point, when you see the option to restore or update, choose restore. The Finder or iTunes will download software for your iPhone. Now, if it takes more than 15 minutes, your iPhone will exit recovery mode and you'll need to select your iPhone model above and repeat the steps to remove the passcode. Beyond that, you're just going to be waiting for the process to finish and then you'll be able to set up and use your iPhone at that point in time. So I hope this video was helpful walking you through the step-by-step -step process on what to do if you forgot the passcode for your iPhone or if you typed in the wrong passcode too many times and you're seeing a message that your iPhone has become disabled. This isn't the end of the world, especially if you've backed up your iPhone to the iCloud because you're going to be able to restore things. But even if you haven't backed up your phone, Starting from a fresh state is still better than not being able to get into your phone and access things. So those are going to be your options. And again, I'll link this support page down in the description if you want to check it out in that area. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing and I'll catch you back here next time.